Frick and Morty, baby know-it-all. Review, let's get into it. Hey, what's up my know-it-alls? Yes, it's Baby Know-It-All back again with a review. Um, I'm filling in for my dad today. So yeah, I'm gonna be talking about season seven, episode nine, Rick, wait, Rick, more, 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 Rick, 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 Ragnarok. Rick, Rick. Ragnarok. Sorry, can I redo it? <laughs> season seven, episode nine, Mort Ragnarok. Yeah, okay, that's right. <laughs> So the episode starts off with Jerry, um, he's like dead, but like in a self-conscious dead and they like find out like heaven is real, but like in their opinion, it's like in their self-conscious or whatever. Anyway, so Rick has the grand idea of um, going to Norway. My intact consciousness is too atheistic to get channeled to any afterlife worth robbing. It's a paradox, unless... Morty, pack your parka. We're going to Norway. Go becoming like a Norse, like going to Norse heaven or whatever. He brings a Pokemon with Bigfoot. And so he tells Morty, he goes, when I die, press this button. What happens to Bigfoot after? Morty, Bigfoot is a B story. The A story is he kills me and you hit the button. Got it? Um, And so that happens and he goes to Norse heaven or whatever. And he, he hangs out with like all like Valhalla. the- Sorry, he goes to Valhalla, um, and yeah, and whatever, all that fun stuff. And he kills one of the people who make clothes, and he just makes his whole thing. Not the point. Anyways, back to the world where Morty is. Morty sees Bigfoot, you know, kill Rick. But then he realizes that Bigfoot is, like, burying him or whatever. Wait, what? Bigfoot, do you have religion? You... You, you understand me, don't you? And then he goes, and he goes, yeah, like you're sad or whatever. And then he kills Morty. So then they have to figure out a way to get out. And then they like do the whole like, what do you call it? Building thing, killing people thing. Because every time they die, they just like respawn back. Like as if it's a video game or something. <laughs> Look at this little one. So they do that. And to get back to the real world, they have to like go like, oh, the clones, yeah. They go into like their little clone body or whatever. And so they come back. Now, little backtrack. The Bigfoot guy, what do you call it? Yeah, the Bigfoot guy, he ends up getting like meeting with the Pope or whatever. Hello, Bigfoot. I'm at a pulp. I'm sure you don't know what that means, which is why I've been so eager to acquire you. I just realized this probably isn't making sense to anyone who hasn't seen the episode because I'm literally ping ponging and everything that I'm saying is like, so random, but not the point. Bigfoot um, ends up getting caught by the Pope and the Pope was like, mm, you're gonna be my weapon now. And he was like, okay, cool. Your holiness, he is wild. He can't be controlled. Ah, but we know what he wants. <laughs> yes, my child. So he just starts killing non-denominational factor candle factories, um, strip bars or something i don't know but he just starts doing all the pope's work or whatever rick and morty come back and the system's not working and then bigfoot ends up like beating him up and i was like hey like i don't appreciate what you did because now he has like this whole little voice thing and then rick was like hold on i'm gonna fix your little voice thing and you're gonna work with me and that's basically what happened help me stop him and i'll make it right for starters here oh that hurt Wait a second. Yeah, hands free. Also upgraded that voice. So then they go against the Pope and then the Pope is just like, why would you like turn on me to Bigfoot? And then Bigfoot was like, I don't know, but like I am. The Pope kills them and then they go back to Ragnarok and again and again and again. And then the Bigfoot guy eventually becomes like a guy because now he can talk and he's in a whole different body or whatever. They just keep on doing it. And then at one point we get to see like cameos from like Dracula, a mummy. Who was the water guy? Huh? Creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah, a creature from the Black Lagoon and like um, Frankenstein. And then they go back and then they were like, mm, no, you're going to help us. And basically they get the um, Asgard, fake Asgard people. And they were like, hey, we kind of need you for this. And he just makes them mad and- Monsters, hold the line. Everyone but Bigfoot. Ooh, that wasn't them leaving, right? No way, that would be good blooded. Then boom, 
the Pope eventually dies because the energy regeneration thing is done. Um, then he puts <laughs> the Pope in the little Pokemon bowl and calls it a Popey Ball. All right, I'm just gonna say it so nobody else has to say it. Popey Ball. There. Okay. If I didn't say anything, someone was gonna be like, you missed Popey Ball, it was right there. Because a Pope's in a Pokemon Ball, clearly. So yeah, that's, that's it. Um, that's the episode. Uh, what would I rate it? It was quite entertaining. I'd probably give it a 7.5. I've really liked the season so far. I think it's probably like one of the best. What do you call it? You know how like people are like, oh yeah, it's not like giving it a season where Rick and Morty. What does that even mean? What does that mean? Like if they're just having adventures and like the voices, they sound fine. So I don't know what people are complaining about. Um, but yeah. That's my review. Never forget, everyone loves to know it all. Bye.